What's up guys, it's Rob here and today we need to talk about the cannabis legalization bill that has finally been introduced to the Senate, the timing of it, what's going to potentially happen with it, and if it's going to be able to pass as well as what's contained within and the effect that all of this could have on cannabis stocks such as Sundial, Tilray, and a whole bunch of others. So let's start off taking a look at the release of this bill. It is finally filed, all right? This is the cannabis bill that Chuck Schumer promised would be filed before the August recess, and it finally happened. Over the past week, there have been reports saying that it was coming out sometime this week, and he finally dropped it today. It's called the Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act, CAOA for short, and this incorporates a ton of feedback that was proposed by over 1,800 comments to the original draft of the bill that we got months ago. Now, this is either looked at as a good thing or a bad thing because you can see the pages in the bill number at 296 as opposed to the draft, which was only 163. So the size of the bill has almost doubled and a lot of people are going to look at that and say, oh, great, there's a, there's a bunch of bloat, there's a bunch of money getting passed around to who knows who. And uh, that's a potential way to look at it. But another way you could potentially look at this with a more optimistic view is that a lot of people who are potentially important for the passing of this bill have been able to get their feedback incorporated into it. And thus, the bill may be more likely to pass than the original draft was because of all this additional feedback. And so, uh, you know, the cost of doing business, the cost of getting this bill passed might be some additional bloat and who knows what in the bill. We'll certainly make a video looking over the bill and talking more in depth about what it contains. But for now, we're just going to cover the general news, the general release, and uh, the actual steps that this bill has to go through and why cannabis stocks aren't actually reacting the best to this news. You can see that cannabis stocks at the moment are mostly down. Sundial down about 4%. Tilray down 3.5%. MJNA down 4%. Aurora Cannabis down 6% and Canopy Growth down 9%. Now, a potential reason for this is buy the rumor, sell the news. A lot of people do tend to do that when trading, and we've been getting rumors of this bill for the past week just about. And so you can see over the past five days, cannabis stocks are actually up fairly dramatically. However, today, when the news actually dropped, a lot of these stocks started selling off. Now, Sundial is still, over the past five days, up about 10%, Tilray up about uh, 20%. MJNA up quite a bit, up almost 25%. Aurora Cannabis also up significantly, up 16%. And Canopy Growth, even though it's fallen 9% today, still up about 27, close to 30% on the day. So a lot of these stocks have been moving up over the past week, although today they are dropping on this news. A lot of people potentially were buying up in these big pumps right here and here and uh, are selling today now that this news has dropped because this is only step number two of what needs to happen to actually make this bill law. Okay, step one was drafting the bill. That's been going on for the past couple of months. Step two, the bill is introduced. That's what we actually got. But you can see there are many, many steps in actually getting a bill to become law, some of them harder than others. This was not actually the toughest step. The real tough step is going to be the voting on the bill, okay? Whether or not it can even get there, if there's a filibuster stopping it from getting there, could be a big point at which potentially this bill could get stopped out. And of course, the second most important step, the bill going to the president, whether or not Biden will actually sign this bill into law or if he'll decide to veto it. And then maybe step number nine, overriding a veto. All of these steps could be rather difficult. And we'll see how far we can get. Now, we do have news that this bill is likely to be going to step four uh, on Tuesday. The Senate Judiciary Subcommittee is going to be scheduling a hearing for the decriminalizing cannabis at the federal level, necessary steps to address past harms. And it's likely that this new bill, the CAOA, will be a big point of, of discussion for that subcommittee on Tuesday, July 26th. And uh, that is actually skipping right over step three, the bill going to committee. They'd just be taking it right to step four, a subcommittee review of the bill. Obviously, they would have to do a bunch more work that probably won't get done on Tuesday. They'll be marking that bill up for a while before they actually take it to a vote on the chamber, most likely. However, this is overall good news for these cannabis stocks. Uh, the fact that they are dropping today doesn't mean they'll be dropping perpetually. Obviously, that's something that could happen, but hopefully not. Uh, as this bill continues to advance, as we get more positive developments for this bill, and it looks more and more likely that it could have a chance of passing, and I expect the cannabis stocks would begin to reflect that. Right now, a lot of people are looking at this like it's going to be very tough to get through, like there aren't enough Republicans on board to actually pass this bill. And that's a possibility. We'll just see 
how many people end up having influence over the bill, how many new things get added to it, and how happy Republicans are with it in the end when it actually comes for a time to vote on the bill. Now, if you guys are interested in future updates on this bill, whether or not it's uh, likely to get passed, we'll certainly go over what's in the bill and my thoughts on it in future videos. So feel free to subscribe to the channel for that if you're interested. Feel free to like this video if you have not already. And other than that, guys, keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. Hopefully you're going to have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.